set up in the other room. Uh, we're going to paint some trim. Go up a little bit here. Plates is a mess. You just have to get over it. A lot of wood everywhere. I don't. I don't get to work on my paints paint stand. So let's uh, on my painting bench because Steve's got his airplane on there. So let's get to painting. So I couldn't make magenta. We're gonna replace orange for magenta. Best I can do. That's just the way it goes. We don't have anybody on the stream yet. What's the deal? We gotta get these up off the floor. A little room to go through here. Taping is done. The taping is done. Okay, so first, first what we need is airbrush, and I think the airbrush is down in that box there. So we need to take this top off. This is this is my sign painters box. All the brushes, most of the airbrush brushes. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven up here, and the one I'm looking for is down here. This is my Grex. I wonder what I did with the, the tops. Yeah, we could just use, I'm not going to put that much paint on this, so we'll just use that cup. Oh, but I need the, the hoses and they're in the bottom. Shit. I think it's in the bottom. Yeah. We're not going to get the little compressor out because I'm going to use the big one. Poses are down here. This is one here. I can't I can't use that one. I gotta go back here to get that. Yeah, well. Yeah, I told you I'd be back my normal time.
What did I do with that big cup? Got the empty big cup. Oh. In another box. Oh, I think I know where it is. It's in it's not there. Gotta be in this one. Yeah. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Annie. I'll be dipped. I have no idea where I put that big cup. Where did I put that big cup? Ain't in there. It ain't in the extra shit. That's a problem with having so much stuff. That ain't it. Oh well, I have to use a small cup. So this is a Grex airbrush. You guys seen me use it when I was in Dayton. It's just, just like a regular HVLP, only half the paint. I had a big cup to go on here, and I don't know what it, where it's at. Oh well. Wait, wait. Okay, get the air. I tried to make magenta. I really tried. It just, I can't get it. I can get purple or pink, but I can't get magenta. We're going with orange instead. So what's going to be orange is the nose here. Then this is going to go uh, insignia blue. This is going to go my medium blue. This is going to be green. This is going to be orange. That's going to be orange. The scallops on the tail are going to be orange. This is going to be my medium blue. And this will be the medium blue with an orange de-icing boot. We'll probably put another color on it. But this is the first go around. So that's the way that's going to go. I know everybody's gonna say, oh, no, 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 colors don't work. Yeah, well, it, you'll see. It'll be fine. Yeah. So the first thing I need is some white. Let's see. Do I have any? 
I already have white mixed up. Yay. I think that's mixed. So let's get a let's get a cup. We'll get a cup. See, I was going to do that inner coat pearl, but. I don't think so. Now, I don't know whether this paint is going to, if it's too thick to spray out of this airbrush or not. But we got that on and it's ready to run. So we're up to pressure. We're not going to have too much overspray. I won't need to open the fan, open the window and get the fan on. Let's change cameras. Camera views. That ain't it. That ain't it. There we go. Let's see, I need to zoom out with that. Okay. We're going to see if this sprays. I have no clue whether it will or not. I just need a light. Yep, it does. Okay. Where's the lid? There it is. Now, anytime you're painting orange or that metallic green, you want to do it over white. I'm going to have to open the window.
to get the fan going. Get the fan going. Well, this doesn't have to be opaque white, it just needs to be tinted white. So That's sticking. The cheese is sticking. Oh, we're out of paint. Out of paint. As you can tell we're going to use very little paint doing doing it this way. I don't want to add an ounce to this. So that's why I chose to use the brush. Always a problem. Well, that's basically all the, the white I need on it.
not understand why this thing's ticking. Take it all apart and walk, clean it up and grease it up. That's a bummer. Well, let's use the Awada. I know the Awada works. <clears throat> Summer. I know the eye water works. Let's see here. Let's see. I can, I can put on quite a bit of paint with this. Try this one if it don't work. I will uh, switch to that one. Okay, I need the orange. First off. I doubt it. Everybody wants to see painting. Well, here's your chance. I think that's going to be enough paint for this whole job, for the orange. So that's how much paint we're going to use. We're going to use this shit. Okay, here goes nothing. Yeah, we ain't using shit for paint. 
I don't know as if I like this or not. Too much orange on it. Could have been better magenta. But that's no big deal. We can. I got it. We'll paint this orange. And this medium blue. Yes, that would be better. This is going to be repainted medium blue, this here. We'll just have the nose and the rudder orange. I don't want too much on this orange on this here. That would have been better magenta, but I can't, couldn't make it. I'm not even sure this is going to look good. But we'll see. That's it for the orange. So this will be medium blue. This is navy blue or insignia blue. This will be. Do that green. Yeah, I think that orange is too powerful. Jimmy, you like the orange? the medium blue out and get that going. I can do these. I could do I could do the scallops without taping. I'm gonna wait for that to dry. Or maybe medium blue. Medium blue. Medium blue and insignia blue. That would be better. Medium blue and signet blue, medium blue. That's going to be medium blue. There's this. I painted it orange, but I don't like it. It's kind of hard to get your your head around things so you visualize what's going on. Thought that'd be okay, but not really. Let me clean out this uh, tub here. And we'll get some medium blue going. And I am putting so very little paint on this thing. Very little. So, 
Took all my gallon jugs over to the chemical recycling place. Now I got no place for crap in it or waste. So, no crap here. We probably won't get this done in one session. I think I'm going to have to wait to, to tape this, this stuff to back mask it. But I think I can go ahead and paint that medium blue and that medium blue without disturbing the rug. And we'll see what it looks like. We have been on thirty three minutes. It'll take it'll take an hour to paint it. That's it. And then in an hour, two, done takes three days to tape. Days to tape, ten minutes to paint. A month to stand the, the clear. Okay, we got this bottle cleared up. Okay, we're gonna mix up half of this and half thinner. Not even half. I like that orange too, but the airplane's called Simply Blues. I don't want too much orange on it. Okay, I need some real thinner now. We're almost empty on this jar. I can, I can start using it as waste. Thank you. 
step away from the airplane when I shake this up. I sure hope turning on to piss all over my airplane, which I have had happen. You know what? I might just forego the orange, go with the blue. I don't like how that puts it on. Right? Try that. Right. Keep it at it. There we go, we got it. How much did that take? Uh, not enough, not much. Change my mind on the orange stripe. We're gonna kill it. Kill that idea. We're gonna go with the blue. We're gonna stick with my original theme. Blue. I'll mix up a third blue. Call it artistic license.
Yep. We'll see about getting some magenta or pinstripes somewhere. I, I just don't think that orange goes with the theme. Normally, I would have painted that canopy green first and uh, and taped it off, but because we're streaming, I'm going to go backwards. And we'll get this blue on. I'll kill the stream because it'll be about an hour when I get this blue on. And then uh, I'll have to, have to wait for it to dry. And mask this all off. Trust me, it'll be better this way. I need to mix up some more paint, though. I need to make enough. Let me mix half a bottle. A lot of area there. Look at that color blue on the airplane. It's a beautiful blue. So I got the airbrush cleanup to do. Going to have to wipe my hands off if I'm going to touch the airplane. Let's do that. Let's see what they say. Uh, can you hear me now? Okay. Sound should be fine. I mean, unless the compressor is running. That compressor runs, it, it kicks out the sound so you don't get blown out. 48 minutes. Okay, let's uh, carry on. Carry on.
Yeah, you know, when the compressor kicks on, it cuts the voice out so it doesn't clip. So maybe that's what you're talking about. Mind you, I gotta go downstairs and change the filter. Give me pretty speed up the red and blue paint. Okay, what's on it for paint? The total amount of paint I used is one of these because I mixed mixed it twice, 50-50, and we're out. So one of these containers twice. It's about, an, I don't know, what's that, two ounces maybe? Check. 
shouldn't have added any weight, which I'm going to wait. I, I see a, it probably can use a second coat on the on this here, but we'll wait to give it a second coat. And you probably wonder, where's the orange? I got to looking at it and just decided I wasn't going to like it. I mean, yeah, it, it, it looked snappy, and I know Jimmy liked it, but but uh, the theme of this airplane is simply blues. It's going to be a, like a jazz musician type deal. So I didn't want to uh, get too crazy on the, the oranges and stuff. So one thing I'm a little concerned about is that the tape is lifting, and I'm hoping that I didn't get any overspray under this thing. All I can do is open it. Really doesn't matter because the second coat of the dark blue goes behind it. It'd just be nice not to have to fix mistakes all the time. Where are we at? We're at an hour. Light scent. Thank you, Ed. Thank you, Ed. Well, it's like the tape doesn't work anymore and it, nothing works good anymore. They want top dollar, but it don't work for the crap. I think I might load up the big guns. And on the wings here, because it's kind of stripey, I just blow in that direction one coat over the top, going that way. Let's see if that'll work. Yeah. <sighs> Well, it'll work if I can get this clean out of here. It's got light blue in it. <laughs> Shit. The only problem with these, with the using an airbrush, it leaves stripes in it. But for the second coat, I'll use this gun. We'll just blow over in this direction. Two more ounces of blue. I think I can get it. Where's the blue? Half a cup. Yeah, mostly thinner. We got an empty can now. We pour some trash in it. Another fifty-five dollars down. Well, we hope so. We hope so.
Right city. Glad you got it. Now, let me see if there's enough to do with those here. Can anybody tell me why I did this? I used the airbrush first. Yeah, we got enough. We got plenty. Just because you got it don't mean you got to spray it. But he got why why I sprayed it over with the HVLP instead of the airbrush. The airbrush covered most everything, but it had streaks in it. 
it can't have streaks in it. So the big gun just blended all them streaks. We only used half a cup. Only used down to there. Oh, you can't. This one? No, this one. About three quarters of a cup. And then you've had. So we didn't add any weight to this airplane. Probably put a total of two ounces of paint on. But what I'm real concerned about is this tape lifting up. I'm just hoping that the air, the overspray didn't go up underneath there. As soon as this is dry to the touch, I'm going to take the tape off the wing just to check it. God, I hope it didn't do that. The tape we get today is such shit. That way, I, if I catch it soon, I can hit it with 70% uh, alcohol and get it wiped off. It's one more disaster after another. But it does get it does get a dark blue, uh, navy blue stripe here. This gets painted green. And then there's navy blue scallops that go behind it. And I'm going to mix up a third blue. I was, I wanted to use magenta, but that ain't happening. So I just got to do with what I got to do. Well, thank you, Jeff. Loves the blue, Henry says. Fred says, going to be a showstopper. Well, we can only hope. Paint jobs are really strange. I mean, there's a lot of shit that can go wrong. <laughs> it's really bad. A lot of shit that can go wrong. You're gonna have to get to do the retake for the second color. That's the only bad thing. The second blue might be a couple of days doing that. You know what? Maybe that's why Billy didn't have a break in his lines because on these on these uh, I mean wings, the thing the tape lifts up. Isn't that a bitch? <laughs> While planning this paint job, I went all the way back to the 60s to look at the Beamers, the Strathmore Club beamers airplanes to see how they're and boy they were finished extremely well but they had aerogloss back then too they got shit they had real air they had real paint please dear lord let there be no overspray. I think there's going to be. I think there's going to be. I'm just going to take, untake this right here so it doesn't get another coat of blue up here. A little bit. Damn, I knew it. 
Hopefully we get it off with seven inches of film. Damn it. I knew it. I can't win. Of course, it didn't have it on the bottom. Right there. Oh, bitch. So how do we fix it? Yeah, we get out the cotton swabs and the 70% al alcohol so we can't get it up. We gotta do it quick. Gotta do it quick. Come on, get off of it. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Be thankful it gets dark blue behind it. Come off. Well, let's see. Get the cotton swab in the ninety one proof. Give up because you're not going to win. One. I'm going to get the 91 behind it. 70, I mean. It'd be nice not to have to do that. Everybody watching this? See how I get to me move this over here. Let's change the camera view. Well, just like I thought. Between the hills and valleys, this thing oversprayed. It sprayed under the tape. In order to fix it, get a cotton swab, a mixture of 91 proof or 91% proof, whatever. Seventy percent. What I got on this rag? Uh, 
We just got to hope that blue fine line stays down. It looks like it did. I think it only did it on on the top and on both sides. On the outside, what a bitch. You got to do it quick. Can't wait till tomorrow to get this done. You got to do it right now. Gonna get the blue behind it, the dark blue. Just have to make sure that it doesn't. That tape, fine line tape sticks down real good. And I can sit and jerk with it so it's right. I just want to get most of it off because it does get a, a dark blue stripe behind here. This would have been nice if it would have went perfect instead of this. The way it goes. Hard painting. Did happen. I need another another swab and another towel for seventy percent. Where the seventy go? Yep, seventy's over there. Yeah, it'll be fine, I know. Just a pain in the ass. So we got quite the smudge going on here. Okay, you want to be that way? No problem. It'll be fine. You got to be real careful with this. This is the high, high powered shit. And a lot of it. <laughs> nope. 
it gets a blue line, uh, an uh, insignia blue line behind it. But it sure would have been nice to have it clean so I didn't have to make it so big. It's going to have to be that big instead of. It'll be fine. Let's see what else we got going on here. I don't want to pull up this tape yet because I think it's stuck down. I just want to outline it with that. I'm not even going to worry about that little spot. We just better hope we don't get it on the second go around. It might have been tape that I put. I didn't, you know, I put on my shirt and I shouldn't have. Oh well. You have to take Mark's hair and tape in a second color off. This is a big thing. So it goes like that. Like that, and now it's got to be an inch wide. Good dog. Nothing but problems. Hopefully we didn't get nothing back here. It looks like we probably did. Shit. I'm just good. Crack. Humidity's up. That's so so like that. With that line in between, hopefully it's stuck down here. That looks like it is. Let's see how this side did. Well, let's see how this did back here. Please don't be too bad. Leaked off just like I said it would. But I got a fix for that. 
we got a fix for that. So this sign is clean, of course, the bottom. Of course, it's the bottom. Why wouldn't it? Unreal. 100% clean on the bottom. I know why that tape was on there for two days. Maybe it can't come off here. Stay on there. There we go. Don't get any more trouble on your work. Well, I just made up my mind. I'm going to do it that way. No, this is screwed up. I can see it from here. You just found, you can zoom in on your live stream and see all the details. Well, I hope so. I don't know. How do you do that, Frank? Well, so far, that, I bet it's underneath there, though. Even though it's double taped, I think it's got it. Shit. But at least it won't be as far back. I won't have to clean it up. So far, so good. Are you guys building beam wings? I don't accept, I don't suggest you do what I do, sticking a knife into the covering like that. One slip and you poke a hole in. Now watch me do it. It'll be fine. <laughs> I guess I could go back and airbrush those spots. I could do that. I think it would just look better if I just put the put the dark trim behind it like I was gonna in the first place.
speak nothing but a thing. The more complicated the paint job, the more screw ups there are. So be ready. I'm not I'm not untaping the fuselage because the fuselage needs to be back matched and it gets sprayed the dark blue again. I'm untaping these wings and I'll have to retape them because the secondary color, the darker blue, goes behind in scallops. I didn't want it as wide as I said it's going to have to be, but that's just one of them things. And hopefully we can get the tape to lay down so that the dark blue doesn't screw up. See, like that. Oh well, the way it goes. I'm going to be damn sure I don't do it on the next one. I'm not, I'm not even going to worry about cleaning them off. I know what I got to do now. Just going to have to come and hide them. Ready for round two, let's go. Don't feel up. You gotta stay down. You got to stay down there so I can get that in there. Aha, uh -huh, I got you. That's a little touch up there with the glue. That's okay. That's okay. To be expected.
Well, I haven't eaten dinner yet, so after I get this on tape, I'm going to have to end the stream and go eat dinner. I'm starving. We'll assess the, uh, the screw-ups tomorrow. I think I know what's going to happen. And I'll bet you a hundred bucks you won't be able to tell when I'm done. One of two ways to fix this. Airbrush those little dark spots or hide them like I'm going to do it. Because it gets a second color behind the. I smell dinner too. I'm hungry. So behind this line here, what it gets now this line here this is still a blue fine line on here so we're we're not uh, there's a separator between the two but I can't I can't risk screwing it up Again, what this gets is a another stripe that looks like this. Come on, you. I'll do it so it's even, but and then in here it gets another a little poop like that. It'll be fine. I'm just going to have to sit down and draw them out. Then this gets navy blue or insignia blue, and then this gets insignia blue, and this gets green. And after I get all that done, then I'll figure out what the, the fourth blue or magenta will be. We got 26 viewers. Or I might come back with an airbrush and just airbrush those light blue, you know, airbrush the light blue in there. You might do that anyway, just so I don't have to run that wide a line. Matter of fact, that's what we're going to do tomorrow. I'm going to come in here and airbrush all these out, all these dark spots out, because I can't get them out with alcohol. We don't want to play. This is probably the worst of it right here. So I'll just airbrush it out. And that'll be that. You just hope there's no more other spots on here. Which is wishful thinking. I'll guarantee there's more. But at least the fine line looked like it laid down good. That would be a disaster if the fine line didn't lay down. The fine line's a lot stickier than the, the master. 
All right, that's going to do it for this evening. I'm going to regroup, think about it exactly what I want to do. Need to make another pattern. And as always, in God we trust, all others pay care. All righty. I'm glad I took the orange off. That would have been a total disaster if that would have happened with orange. That would have been a deep shit. <laughs> Blue is not so bad. Orange is bad. Let me see how long it's going to be. Maybe I can stick with you a few more minutes. Much longer till dinner. Okay, just yell up. So, what that showed you, <laughs> yeah, we had some problems with that, but there's always problems with paint jobs. Don't be discouraged. It'll be fine. Trust me, I'll have it all sorted out tomorrow. Oh, we got the paint on it. That's all that counts. Oh. All it counts. And I'll figure it out from there. I got a couple of Viper decals. It's going to be Viper, my green Viper that's on the tail on this, on the tail of that. And then on the nose for the nose art, be simply blues. Well, I don't know about it looking good or not. It's uh, It's coming. It's just a lot of work. Of course, it'll have the gold leaf lettering. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad I took the orange off of it. I mean, the orange is cool, but I really want magenta. I'm going to see if I can't ask Wix if they can whip me up some magenta. That would be. The bomb. That would be the coolest. Get the get the magenta on there. But John was right. We were talking, you know, after the see, yeah, I saw you on on video. Did you mix up some mud? Yep, I got I got brown, I got purple, I got pink, I got everything. Except for magenta. And the color wheel shows mix blue and blue and red and get magenta, but it don't. It's way too dark. You get purple. Uh, actually, my my club brother had a motorcycle. He's passed away since then, but it was a 68 shovel, a 68 lower nose cone motor with a you know, shovel head top end. So it was a, it was the first year of the or was a 69. He was a 69 because it didn't have any frame numbers on it, but it was the first 68 or 9, first year of the shovel head. So it wasn't a nose cone motor and it was a generator motor. So it looked like a pan head motor, but he had it painted puce. <laughs> That's what I called it. It was bright pink and I called it puce. So, yeah, I wish I'd have got that motorcycle, but I think his old lady got it. I'd still have that, but uh, I didn't. 
those motors are rare. Generators, shovel heads, pretty damn rare. Pen heads even getting really rare. They used to be a dime a dozen. You could buy a basket case pan head, 500 bucks. Now you'd be lucky to get one for 10 grand basket case. All right, like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you tomorrow. Fairwinds tight lines. See ya.